my body, I pull up and then I flash Ay, Ice cold with diamonds holding on my neck Ay, Fake niggas see through, you can call it x-ray Real niggas stay true, I call it my gang gang Hit on my body, I pull up and then I flash now this is a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while but never really thought about how I would say this and it's pretty much irrelevant these days but for me or for this channel from now on it's mostly going to be talks but still continuing with the gameplay and live commentaries but as of right now I am in the mood for <laughs> speaking my own opinion I know about that right? <laughs> hey guys what's up it's your boy Matches here and today guys before we get started writing this video, if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe guys because why not like the video or I will come to your house with a stapler and I don't know, staple all your papers shut and you won't be able to take them to school. I know because school is back in session everyone. Sadly, I'm still making these videos because <laughs> why not because maybe we'll get some more traction on these videos with these trends, these non-relevant trends I'm about to make come true. Even though I should not be able to do this, but I don't know. This is going to be a non-script video once again because I hate reading off a script. It makes me sound like a robot and I like going things from on top of my head because why not? So if you guys do hear like, oh, uh, I don't know what to say right now, that's probably why. So yeah, no further ado guys. Today we are going to be talking about why everyone blames violence on video games. Something that I've been wanting to talk about for a very long time, but don't know how to put it in a video. Until now, because I, I just recently wrote an essay about it, so it's still fresh in my memory, so no further ado, let's just start right into this video. I don't know where you're watching this, if you guys are watching this in from another country. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, but if you guys are living in the United States, I think it was back in August, we had a few shootings going by towards the end of August. We had the Texas shootings and another shooting that I did not remember the name of, unfortunately, but all my prayers to all those families and to everyone that died i really hope that everything will be okay but um those shootings and everyone just blaming violence on video games is so like fucking stupid i'm sorry i had to use that language it's so repulsive because um they don't put no mental health at check mental health at check is one of the things you need to look out for blaming something like did they have something wrong with their mental health oh we don't know let's blame it on video games because that's the only thing we need to talk about because we don't want to deal with nothing about our mental health that's going out right now because huh, look at our shootings for the past few years they've been going skyrocketing there's way more i know right stupid i want you guys to know that video games are not the cause of these shootings at all for me for my own opinion because i am right to get my own opinion on this first amendment on um, freedom of speech yes i do know my amendments and my rights even though i am horrible at remembering things but i yes i do but video games do not cause any of this it's pretty much the parents fault because now looking closely at their child or how old this person is it's not it's it's up to the doctor's fault too because for them looking closely and prescribing them to I don't know, antidepressants, depressed, ah, I can't talk today, fuck. But any of those, because um, cause why not? They don't want to think about that. But video games, what do you guys think about this? It's the parents' idea or fault if the kids want to play violent video games, okay? But for me, when I grew up, I was play allowed to play any, I want, any game I want because um, my dad knew that you need to learn things and he's not going to want to shelter me for life. I totally understand. I'm very thankful for my dad for doing that because if I didn't know about that, I would still be really innocent like I was in 8th grade. Oh my gosh, I was so innocent. Then you can ask all my friends, bro. For real, I was. I was kind of innocent in 9th grade, but not going to lie. But 10th grade, I am no longer innocent. I'm I'm still a little innocent, but like my long my innocence went hold away, bro. But we're getting off topic. Fuck. So for instance, for violence video games, if you guys don't know what that is, I just need to make sure because we have some weird people on my YouTube channel that I don't know what this means. But for this, for violence video games, I would like to include Grand Theft Auto as being the main cause of why people think violence caused from video games. So if you guys don't know what Grand Theft Auto, what Grand Theft Auto 5 is, it's a game by made by Rockstar Games that made previous Grand Theft Autos. But for Grand Theft Auto 5, there is a story mode and an online mode for the story mode there's a storyline you can stick to or there's a free online it's a it's an open world game pretty much it is but there is a storyline for the story mode 
You can play as three characters, Franklin, Michael, Trevor. You can, and you just go through this whole bunch of stuff. Rob stuff. So, for this stuff, you get to rob a bank, pretty much. No, a jewelry store. Yes, I am correct. But, after you're not doing no challenge, like, doing no, none of that, um, story-based shit, you get to, um, rob, you get to steal cars, go into strip clubs, and kill people, and... For a kid that is, I don't know, maybe six or seven, or maybe five that's playing a game like that. If you're a five-year-old and you're playing Grand Theft Auto Five, I would not recommend you play that game anymore, or you're going to get one of those, hi, yeah, let's go um, kill some people. I do not condone. Please do not kill no people. We want everyone to be alive these days. But a person that little will be like, because their mind's still, per um, I don't know, like thinking straight. They're not thinking straight, but like, who knows and like there's no consequences because anytime you get caught by the police you get out you get out with real quick but um the kid would be like yeah that might be a good idea and like you get nothing out of that so maybe later on in life they'd be like because it might be messed up because of that from that one thing that they thought about but, like yeah let's just go do that because who knows might not get no consequences or anything but then they realize that there are consequences in life and here's the thing I understand from parents points of view and like everyone else's points of view about violence with video games I totally understand your guys decision or your guys like perspective about this but from my own perspective it's absolutely dog shit you guys are just banking on video games and not talking about your mental health cuz mental health is something that we seriously need to talk about way more than fucking video games if we're being really honest right now I'm just saying while we're on the topic of mental health, I would like to say about mental health, we need to worry about more mental health than about video games in general, okay? Because mental health is more important and it can lead to suicide and to everything else. While video games cannot, well, it can, but it's anything's possible in this world, but suicide or um, mental health can lead to more of that stuff. So I feel like that we need to worry about more about mental health than, than falsely accusing video games for absolutely no reason because everyone thinks violence is due from video games cuz huh why not here's gonna be my solution or yes yeah, solution on how to fix um the school shootings cuz that's another thing I want to talk about is the school shootings or is shootings in general um be more secure about who to give guns to be more and give more like training okay Instead of giving this like three day training, be like, yeah, we're just gonna send you off with this um, M16 30 mags, bro. So you have fun with that 30 rounds. You just have fun with that, bro. Just don't kill no one. I feel like we need to have more of a training and make sure they're mentally okay before then. Like, go through a bunch of training, make sure their record is clean. No cops have called. Um, just make sure, make them do some tests. I don't know what test, just make sure they do some tests and everything. This might sound stupid for from a 15 year old who does know, not know nothing about politics or anything these days, but I do somewhat know about what I am talking about. I don't know, that might sound stupid and I'm looking like a fucking clown right now, but I somewhat do know what I'm talking about. And it's very stupid, but I need to voice my own opinion because huh, why not? First Amendment, baby, let's go. But um, we need to secure more things with with people owning guns and everything yes it does break the amendment of our second right right to bear arms yes but at the same time we need to we need to protect everyone we do and just giving everyone guns because for quote unquote safety reasons not for anyone to shoot up the place it's just stupid it, it really is but at the same time Yes, people do need to make sure that everything is safe with themselves, and it is okay for you to carry a handgun. Now I know AK-47, M16, okay? You don't want to carry that RPD, you don't want to carry that around. Yes, it's good to have a handgun, because a handgun mostly carries around with an M1911, pretty much, because I know it's from Call of Duty Zombies, okay? That thing holds around 12, 12, 12, 12 bullets max. I'm pretty sure not including with extended mags but the Colt M1911 as far as I know holds like 12 rounds pretty sure and you can't you can a pistol you have to do very well with accuracy okay you really do like you cannot just go spraying around you can't but with it RP with a LMG or an assault rifle you have the ability to do that because you have more of a mag okay you do but at the same time a pistol is still very deadly and very dangerous so I do understand 
about not having no weapons i do but at the same time i do understand about carrying a weapon with you but, but i still do recommend make sure that they're still mentally safe with them i still do just make sure they just go through just a lot more tests in general and make sure that they're just the thing is squeaky clean and that nothing's going wrong like nothing's fishy is going on and anything like just make sure that everything's just good as of right now but i think that's where i'm gonna wrap up the video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you guys did watch through the whole through the whole video thank you so much and comment red dragon because um you guys did watch the full video please do it because i want to see people do actually to watch my videos because that would be amazing um shout out to i eat ass bro bro you the best commenter bro i just saw your comment like 10 minutes ago from recording this video bro you have the best at comments bro i'm being sarcastic bro there is no point for you to comment that but i do have i do understand first amendment right of um freedom of speech so um yeah that shit won't stop me you said shut the hell up or what the fuck you said bro but um you a fucking clown you is Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys aren't new to the channel, please subscribe, guys. Because, again, why not? You guys help me out. And we're so close to four subscribers as of um, September 9th, 2019. I know I'm saying that date's too much. I don't know why. That's date. Oh, yeah. It's 9 9 19. It'll be way better. It was in um, uh, September 9th. September 9th, 2009. That'd be way better. But guys, like the video or I will come to your house, break your TV, and break your console or your gaming PC. Well, that actually arrives. Holy shit. I should become Dr. Seuss, bro. No cap. But guys, um, so guys, like the video. Share the video if you guys do want to to tell your parents that to let your parents play you play more violence video games because huh, it actually might help. Um, guys, go follow me on Instagram because why not? Um, it's Jalen underscore Woodruff, or you guys can follow me on my YouTube one. It's matches underscore TS. Um, guys, go follow my Twitter. Um, which Jalen W two five two six five or two five six in the description below. Um, go follow my Twitch, guys. Even though I'm no longer active on that, just still do, go do it. Um, and that Twitch is um matches YT. So guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys do have a fantastic day. Peace.